Right folks, it's 25 past one in the afternoon on the 9th of February 2014. As I said in my previous video of some 10 minutes ago, I've been away and it kind of got to the point for me where throughout December and January, on the one hand, I was working, I've been really working very, very hard. Um, I've, I've been um, pretty nose to the grindstone constantly. On the other hand, also, some of the stuff I've been dealing with has been quite difficult, both for myself and, and with others, whether it's been friends, clients, or via the electronic mediums that, are, that we use these days to, to interact at a social level. And it got to the point where it was just like, I need a break. Mercury retrograde is beginning a bite. I'm going on holiday. Bang. Lastminute.com. So, um, off I went. Last Saturday. Lastminute.com. Marrakesh. And I've been in Morocco for the last seven days. Got back last night. I've been staying within 15 minutes, 20 minutes walk of the exact centre of Marrakesh. With its cafes and bazaars and souks, snake charmers, king cobras, barbary apes, vultures, eagles. Where we got lost, we went into the souk and we got sort of urged to come and visit the 12th century factory where they still use all the leather and make all the leather and the ways that the leather is cured. And it's camel and goat, the tanneries. And we saw all the old processes. And of course, then we had to maneuver our way out via a payment here and a payment there to get us to the next corner. And, and we had to buy some produce. And hey, but the barter system got some great stuff. And we went to the mountains. 25 degrees and a foot of snow. Where I was there, I went there 37 years ago. I went to Morocco in 1977 when I was a young hippie, okay? And I went up into the Atlas. And I had one or two flashback memories of the old mud huts. And I get there and it's still the same with one fundamental difference. Um, they've all got satellite, a lot of them have got satellite dishes. They're still mud huts. Built from the land, the colour of the land reflects the colours of the village. And it's, thank you, Morocco. Thank you, Marrakesh. I was fortunate enough to find myself landing on our feet in that type of environment, which was just magical. And it is this, my soul has come for a recharge. And the cost was affordable and minimal. So for European people, at least, you know, lastminute.com to Marrakesh, especially at this time of year. 19, 20 degrees. In England, it's been raining. In Marrakesh, it was like May, June in England. Of course, there's health and safety. What? What's that then? Steel girders is just sticking out the pavement. Curbstones either 18 inches high or non-existent. No one. You walk into the road, you take your chance. Zebra crossings are for decoration purposes only. Make, let's get that very clear. And... It's an experience, and don't talk about the plumbing. But the people are the most courteous and polite, and they're genuinely pleased to see you. And of course, they're going to try and fleece you a little bit, because my wage is my my wage is ten times their annual wage. Thirty percent of the people there are fourteen and under, and the king is very popular. He's a young king. It's a thriving place. It's got a big economy and it's going to get bigger. If you ever get the chance to go to Morocco, do so. Don't, you can go to the north if you want the more industrial side of it. But go to the south. Go to Marrakesh. It's a one-off experience. It's got to be still one of the most exciting and vibrant and stimulating places in the world. It's such a cultural shock. It's such a cultural crossroads. Three hours by plane from southwest England. My soul's been recharged. Thank you, Marrakesh. Now, back to work.